यो दिस इज ऑन द बीट एंड दिस इज बिहाइंड द बीट बाय म्यूजिक प्लस शक्ल पे मास ने फिर भी सब क्यों पड़े तुझे जैसे सेक्स वन नाइट गले पे चेन नहीं लगाए सेन नहीं अंधेरे में नियॉन में बेचा शाइन सेज ऑन द बीट और मैं बदतमीज हमसे बिंदे की रक्षा नहीं बड़े गिला ते कहीं से मिस के लावा जब से रुक रुकता नहीं कर खाना जाते पर वो ना क्रेजी है ना ना पार्टी है फटक तो नहीं है बेटा दैट्स ऑल yeah the that 619 by rawal it's a part of this ep it's called new kids on the block and super duper excited for that ep the project everyone who's a part of that so yeah 619 that was up okay so there's a story behind that so it's not a funny story actually it is kind of uh so the i think it was 2015 or 2016 i don't remember actually uh but this producer in usa who was a prominent figure in the youtube producer producer scene he was a big online beat seller he hosted a contest and uh, i won that and one of the prizes for the contest was a beat tag because he had a beat tag service and uh, uh he showed me a list of all the voice artists and uh, there's this producer called jalil beats he had uh, a kid saying jungle beats all app me so i was like i also need a kid saying my tag then i was like uh, do you have any like uh, child voice artist on your catalog he was like yeah my nephew does that and i was like would get me that like i want your nephew to say says on the beat boy for me and that's how i got the tag that's what's up again like shout out to jalil beats because his tag is crazy it's a jungle beats all at me that inspired me to get that also usually i don't have a set process uh, there's no set timelines uh, sometimes i have a deadline on me when it comes to a project when it's a commission project usually other than that when i'm making my own music with uh, with a with like with other artist and so usually depends on the vibe it takes a week sometimes it takes a day one like it takes a day sometimes it takes an hour sometimes no set time limit for me Initially, when I was learning my DAW, uh, I couldn't figure out half of it. So that was definitely the most difficult production problem I had to solve ever. That's 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 it. Yeah, that's it. nothing else. Usually, because when you learn, every problem just you know like gets a solution. That's how you learn. That's how you progress. And that's all. That's the vibe. Okay uh I can definitely make music without my sound card without my speakers because I can use headphones and all that stuff but again like that's another like gear thing if I talk about headphones also I definitely cannot make music without my laptop because uh I am a digital music producer at the end of the day and I would need my machine I would need my software I would need my DAW to be able to do all of that so yeah that's it so I cannot uh, uh pure instruments wise not really I can to use samples only i cannot play instruments i can only play keys that to a certain extent i do not call myself a keys player i just know some bits of it so yeah definitely not that okay so the thing is that like i do have that bit of confidence in me because i've worked uh, in the hip hop scene a lot and I do have a fair bit of experience when it comes to sounds and I am always on the hunt for the freshest sounds possible. I usually go with the gut instinct because when you work so much in a particular field you know what will work and what will not work. That's just a given. Like it it clicks automatically honestly like uh usually it's a gut instinct for me. And that is how we uh, you know like come up with the final song. That's it. Gut instinct always works. Always 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 works. a uh, smallest has to be three i think biggest again like i worked with big budgets for sure i don't want to disclose that but uh, yeah the contrast is huge yo just like my catalog that is so uh, Oh yeah, Kahani 2020 uh, is a vibe, 100%. Uh, so the original project, uh, which never came out, it was a different project, definitely. Uh, some of the artists were a part of that project also, uh, but like 
uh, when Kahani 2020 came into place and we had the idea in like we had the idea on lock, uh, we got Zayden and Lit Hapu to fill the final pieces of the puzzle and we had Kahani 2020. And super duper experience to work with uh, everyone on that song. Like it was such a vibe. Kahani 2020 is such a vibe, yo. It's not sensitive for me usually like because it's it's a part of the process like if an artist is not really happy with something then I I would want that to be perfect uh, just because to me quality and everything matters the most more than the quantity aspect of the music business so it's not that sensitive for me we can just like uh, discuss it like straight up like if you don't like something come to me I'll fix that for you simple. Uh, not particularly uh, artist-wise, definitely music. Music is what inspires me to make more music and uh, it can be any artist honestly. Usually it's a pop or R&B or soul music or uh, some bits of pop here and there. Uh, but not per se an artist because a lot of different artists inspire me. And definitely when I get inspired from a type of song then I just make sure I adapt to that style and uh, make it my own. That's how I do it. Okay, once again, this is Seth on the Beat, signing out, Behind the Beat by Music Plus. Let's go with the movement.